baby. <laughs> it's October, my dears, and Halloween is upon us. We can't go anywhere due to the lovely pandemic COVID situation. But, but if you have a look, that could be done during the Halloween time. That deals with lots of purples. I mean, lots and lots of purples. Like a villain, should we say. <laughs> or a nice date night. You just want to have that smoking look of that purple. Then this is for you. I'll be using, that came out last year, the Aladdin palette from MAC Cosmetics. Moonspell from Manny MUA on his brand Lunar Beauty. If you want to know how I got this lovely purple envy makeup look, then keep watching, my dears. Keep watching. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my dears, and thank you so much for pushing the little play button. I really appreciate it. Now, today I'm going to show you how to do this lovely purple look. It has a lot of darkness, some lightness, some light pink purplish situation. I'm going to be using two palettes today. Disney Aladdin, mm -hmm, Disney Aladdin palette from MAC Cosmetics. This came out last year, and I did do a video about this whole palette situation, this video right over here, and I'll also link it down in the description below just in case you haven't seen it. As well as Moonspell from Lunar Beauty. I love this palette because it's October and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is my palette I'm using for the month of October. It's Halloween kind of situation and I've been playing with some colors and <laughs> let's just say I came out with some colors. All of these five shadows on the very top, all of them are on my eyes, my dears. Mm -hmm. With this, you're like, oh, that's a lot of colors. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, and just a little FYI, this makeup look requires a lot of blending, so we'll be blending quite a bit, so prepare yourself. Just let like you know, prepare yourself. So, if you have this palette, follow along. If not, go see the different purples you may have in your collection and follow along. And if you have this from last year, since I know this was limited edition, follow along. If not, try to see if you can have these colors. I'm sure you have them in some palette somewhere. If you're interested in finding out this look, then this is the video for you, my dears. I will give you a deep down tutorial. You can wear this on date night, because once the pandemic's over, I would love to go back to having date nights. I love date nights. Because you can climb up. Because I love being glad. That's just me. Can't help it. And especially for Halloween, with a lot of characters, I can only think of a lot of evil villain characters. And a lot of them have purple, oddly enough. So this can give you some ideas. But right before we begin, I just want to remind you, please consider subscribing. And remember to push the little notification bell. Because it will let you know when my videos are up and loaded, my dears. Mm -hmm. And just in case you haven't already, please follow me on all of my social medias on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Snapchat. And it all has the exact same handle, at Singer, as well as my IMDb page, Indy Lopez. Mm -hmm. And yes, I am currently working on my music, a full-time job, doing YouTube, and uh, music-wise, a lot of stuff, if you're wondering, has been postponed a lot. I'm sure, like, not just me, but yourselves as well, things that you're trying to do in life has been postponed due to pandemic, so, um, music, I'll be out eventually. So, for no further ado, let's go straight into the tutorial of this beautiful purple NV sparkly look. <laughs> Now today, I'll be doing a makeup tutorial, mostly all purple shades, with two palettes, my dears, yes, two palettes. So let's begin, shall we? Let's begin. This would be good for like Halloween, even though due to the pandemic right now, I doubt we're going to be doing a lot of trick-or-treating, or going out, or events, or Halloween parties, for that matter. But, first palette I'm going to be using is the Moonshine from Lunar Beauty. Now, Manny MUA came out with this palette, full of the hand and everything. I did do a full review on this video. It's on my channel and on the playlist, my dears. Alright, so basically we'll be doing we'll be using the top portion of the palette is what we're mostly gonna be doing. And in case you're wondering, yes, we'll be using every single one of these colors, my dears. Every single one of these colors. Yes, my dears. And it's like my favorite look. I've I've been wearing this look like for the past four days. I'm obsessed. I even did it in my last video. In case you were curious. 
stopped. <laughs> All right, my ears. I already have my brows done and my eyes are set just to save time. I'm also going to be using Aladdin. I know. I haven't heard anyone I need to talk about the Aladdin palette since it came out this year as well, I believe. So I'll be using a combination of these two to create the look. If you have this palette, go ahead and follow along. And if you don't, I'm sure you probably have some of these shades at your home. Try to see what's similar to it. Now, do that this little palette doesn't have the names written on there. Everything's on the back. I'm going to be writing the names on the back here somewhere to let you know what I'm using, but I'm also going to be pointing to you what shades I'm using with. I'll be using my Sigma E40 and I'm going to be mixing some colors. I'm going to be using this color from the Lunar Beauty palette that's called Winifred. And I'm going to be mixing it with this top color up here on the right upper corner. And I'm going to be putting both colors all over the crease. you see how beautiful that nice brown color appeared? Now you may be asking yourself, why are you using brown? I thought this was a purple look. It is, my dears, it is. But in all makeup looks, it is best to add dimension. That, that's what creates a nice character to the look, a nice eye look, you know, just not be so flat and boring, my dears. So this is just the first layer that we're going to be adding on. This is just the base, my dears. It's just the base. That way the color has somewhere to go. The next color we're going to use, I'm going to be using another Sigma E40, by the way. And I'm actually going to be mixing these two colors, actually. I'm going to be mixing Sabrina and Paige. And I'm actually going to put this on top of the other color that we used and just blend it together, my dears. created that dark light situation. Now keep in mind wherever you put your brush first is basically where the most pigment's going to appear. I mostly like doing it out here because you see go this way it blends it out. The middle part gets dark but the outside of it gets really light so it's better to just buff and blend. And remember especially if you have hooded eyes remember to stretch your eyes. I even do that and I have very round small eyes but it's just better to get the brush in there and it's better to blend. It's like a lot easier, my dears. It's a lot easier, just a little FYI. Now, it does look a little messy, a little harsh. It'll be smooth in a minute, my dears. If you've been in my channel for a while, you know I have a method to my madness. Mm -hmm. Method to my madness, my dears. Next, I'm gonna grab a Sigma E25, the small of it. I'm gonna go into just the Aladdin palette and I'm gonna be using these two colors right over here. On the second row, and I'm going to put it right on the crease. Don't put it all the way here to here. I'm going to put it like right half, like right, stop right in the middle. And then with the same brush, we're going to be using this color over here, which I think it's called Lady. And it's literally the darkest one here, but we're just going to do a little bit like so, like so, not very much, and go on top of what you just did. Okay, you see how that created a nice fade? Now, I know right now you're probably cringing like, it looks harsh. It does. No worries. Next, grab your next brush. It's another E40-ish type of brush, but lately for blending, I'm obsessed with the Sephora 31 brush. It's the Pro Airbrush Crease Brush. I don't use it to apply color. I don't like it, but I do like it as a blender. So literally use this with no additional product. Don't dab into any shadows and just blend it out, my dears. Blend it out. grab another E40 brush or use the same brush. This is the one that I used a little bit of the browns with and I'm actually going to go back to the Aladdin palette and I'm actually going to use this color right over here, this softer pink purplish color, very soft like lilac color. And I'm actually going to be doing this. I'm going to go to the edge up here, try to go slow, just the outside of it, just the outside of it. I don't want it on the crease, I just want it like above that color. So this is the type of look where you're going to be using your entire space of the eye, my dears. Your entire space. 
face. So if you had smaller eyes, I suggest using smaller brushes. Then you know, and literally just put this right on top. Also, if you want it to become a little bit more intense, I want to, you don't have to do this, grab a little Max Fix Plus, a little spray, and then go over it again, just for it to be seen a little bit more. Because it's such a very soft, like, shade. And then grab your blending brush, the one with no additional product, in my case, it's the Sephora brush, and blend some more, my dears, just blend some more. Like I've stated before, this look requires lots and lots of blending, my dears. Lots of blending. And then we go to the next color. We're gonna be using Piper and we're gonna use this all over the lid. So in this case, I'll be using my Sigma E55 brush. I'm putting this all over the lid. Also, if you want it more intense, like I'm gonna do, add Max Fix Plus and apply it on top. All right, my loves, as you can tell, we're trying to get that purple color, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Then, why am I done, my dears? Oh no. I'm gonna flip the brush over, and I'm actually gonna be using, now Phoebe, you have to really put your brush in there because it's very light, and Max Fix Plus is required, my dear. And literally put it all over the lid. Then you're gonna go back to the Aladdin palette, and you're gonna be using this color right over here. Now this color, I learned that's better to put it with your finger. That's the shadow. And literally just put it all over the lid. And then, I'm actually gonna be using this color in the Aladdin palette. I'm gonna be using my Lexi 141 brush and I'm gonna put this all over the brow bone. basically all the colors I'm going to be using on top of my eyes, like on my eyelid, that's basically it. So give me a moment, I'm going to step away, I'm going to end up putting mascara and foundation, my concealer, everything else, and then we'll be back and we're going to finish underneath the eyes, my dears. Mm -mm. Now, with this look, if you want to put false lashes, you can. This is absolutely fantastic, especially for our Halloween look. It is absolutely gorgeous and a must, my dear, a gorgeous and a must. But I'm not going to, only because I want you just to see the full effect of the eye and how it works with all the colors. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. So give me a second, and I'll be right back, my dears. And that's basically the entire tutorial of the Purple and the Get Ready With Me tutorial with the Moon Spell from Manny Anyway from his brand, Loner Beauty. If you bought this last year, follow along. If not, like I said, it's just a bunch of purples. Go into any purple palette that you may have and just follow along with the Aladdin palette. Do that I am home and I work kind of late. I have plenty of time to experiment with colors, so that's how I came up with this look. If you wear this for the holidays, show me your creation, your take on it. If you use liner, what kind of lashes did you use? Just let me know. I'm kind of curious. You can tag me on my Instagram. That's mostly where I see a lot more stuff, actually. My Twitter, because I don't have a lot of people on there, so that works as well. Just let me know. Let me know. But these are the palettes that I used. If you like these kind of tutorials where it has a bunch of colors and holidays, because a lot of holiday stuff is coming out, let me know, my dears. Comment below. Now, one last thing right before we leave. Be safe. Be kind. Be careful. Especially now. Be careful. I love you. I miss you, and I'll see you on my next video. See you soon.